Voyager 2. Now on its own, it was heading across the solar system towards the outermost planets. But then, just as it left Saturn, the team noticed Voyager 2's camera platform had started to jam. Without the crucial ability to pan its cameras, there would be few pictures of the other outer planets. It was a potential disaster, and the team struggled to find the cause. In the case of the stuck scan platform, the expectation was that there was a piece of debris, which is not likely. I mean, we're so careful when we put th these machines together. So then it goes down to, well, maybe the, it, it's, it's the lubricant, the way the lubricant has, re has distributed itself. So how do you fix a spacecraft that's over a billion miles away? What we decided to do was to exercise it very carefully, moving the gears train back and forth slowly over this spot. And we could see that we were making progress, and they say, OK, this is it, and we work through it. But without any target to focus the cameras on, they had no way to know if their fix was successful. They'd only know that when Voyager 2 reached its next destination, Uranus. Even traveling at 50,000 miles an hour, this encounter was five years away. Despite their fix to the scan platform, with limited light this far from the sun, the Voyager team knew their cameras would struggle. Voyager was planned to operate at 1 billion miles at Saturn. It was now being asked to operate at 2 billion miles at Uranus, where the sun was very dim. And we had to do several things. For instance, you have to have much longer exposures on the camera. And if you have too long an exposure, the spacecraft's moving very rapidly, things become smeared. So we had to learn how to program the spacecraft to turn at just the right rate so that it would compensate for the motion of the spacecraft. As the first images of Uranus arrived back at Earth, it became clear the engineers' ingenuity had once again paid off. But the extraordinary pin-sharp pictures of this distant planet two billion miles from Earth revealed tantalizingly little. 